What's up everybody? Welcome back to Hardly Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at recording with OBS versus recording with Shadowplay. I've read a number of threads about how good Shadowplay's efficiency is versus OBS's hammering on your CPU and GPU, so I want to find out just how much of a difference there is between these two. This test comparison is inspired by my own use of OBS for recording videos for my separate gaming channel and noticing that I can't maintain frame rates even with my 3080 Ti using NVENC and OBS's settings. So today we're going to compare OBS's CQP or constant quantization parameter to OBS's CBR or constant bit rate to Shadowplay's built-in CBR. My own setup is capable of coming down to a CQP of 21 at best, so that's what our baseline will be, using also CBR maximum of 130 from both OBS and Shadowplay. And then we'll step down the quality a little bit to CQP 27 and CBR 50 for OBS and Shadowplay. We'll be starting off with quality comparison, then moving on to performance comparison, while also taking a look at the file sizes for each of these bitrate control measures. All of these tests will be performed at 4K, 1440p, and 1080p, hopefully covering all of the major resolutions used by gamers today. The goal of this test isn't necessarily to prove that one of these is outright better than the other, and that you should use it absolutely, but mainly to show what kind of difference there is in quality and in performance to see whether or not it might might be worth it for you to use Shadowplay, because if you're in a situation like mine, where you're on an Intel platform and you're relying on your GPU to do the encoding, you need all the performance you can get, right? So let's get started. Here are the specs for today's test bench. And today we'll be using Resident Evil Village as our game of choice. I chose the main village area because there's a lot going on here. A lot of texture work on the ground, a lot of houses, and a lot of trees. So hopefully we'll be able to see just how good each of these programs is at resolving detail, while hopefully maintaining top performance. One final note before we begin. YouTube is also going to compress this video. I don't know how this will affect the comparison overall other than it will probably make the video look worse. So please keep this in mind while you're watching. First up, the image quality portion of the test.
And now we'll directly compare frame rate.
Alright, with the main testing portion out of the way, I was also wondering if having vertical sync on in the game would actually free up any system resources, i.e. the GPU, in order to provide a better quality at the same bitrate. So I ran the same test with vSync on at 4K, at 130 megs per second and 50 megs per second. And as one final test, I compared the 3060 Ti to the 3080 Ti to see if there's any difference between these cards at resolving detail. And from what I can see, V-Sync on or off doesn't really make a difference. Quality seems to be basically the same. And the same can be said for the 3060 Ti versus the 3080 Ti. No major difference in quality. In fact, I don't really see a difference in quality at all. So there we have it. Comparing OBS's CBR 130 or 50, or any bitrate really, against Shadowplay at the same bitrate, Shadowplay offers better performance across the board, while offering the same visual quality. Using NVENC and OBS does use NVIDIA's encoders, but Shadowplay is built from the ground up by NVIDIA to take advantage of those encoders. The one real downside I see to Shadowplay is that at 4K, the maximum bitrate allowed by Shadowplay is 130 megabits per second. The only way around this is to record at 8K, and even then, the maximum bitrate is 150 megs per second. So if you're looking for the highest quality, pristine video recordings you can get, whether it's for personal use, or YouTube, or whatever, I would use OBS's CQP option. Although, keep in mind, the performance hit is going to be pretty large. I hope that this comparison helps somebody out there who might be wondering the same things that I was wondering. Is using NVENC and OBS really better than Shadowplay? Or is Shadowplay's boost in performance really worth it over OBS? Well, in my opinion, it's worth it, and I think the results speak for themselves. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, consider hitting that like and subscribe all over that button. And hey, if you've got a little extra time on your hands, and you'd like to see how the 1080 Ti, the 2080 Super, and the 3060 Ti stack up against each other, check out my video on that. Or, if you'd like to see how Oloi RAM compares to G-Skill, check out my video over here. I'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now. Using NVENC in an OBS and blah blah blah.